folks, using an ArcGIS online organizational account. You can also take advantage of a wonderful set of tools called ESRI Maps for Office. ESRI Maps for Office allows you to create maps from Microsoft Excel files. Wow, fantastic! Let me demonstrate. I have a data set of the best and worst run states in the USA that I want to map. Obviously, best and worst are subjective terms, and students would be wise to read the metadata about what measures 247wallstreet.com used to compile their listing, from Standard & Poor's, the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the U.S. Census Bureau, and other sources. I have the ESRI Maps for Office add-in loaded. I have Microsoft Office 2010, and I am signed into an ArcGIS online organizational account. Here is the website with the data, as you can see right here. Every state has, a sev has several data sets, variables associated with it, and a descriptive paragraph. Here is my spreadsheet in Excel with the data keyed in. My data has a locational component, this column or field called state. I can create a map from the data, symbolize it, here on state rank, although I could use any of the other variables I input as well, such as unemployment rate and median household income. Now that data could just as well have been street addresses or latitude longitude coordinates, countries, or anything else with a locational component. I'm going to insert map. Here's my map. I'm going to move it over to the side. Add Excel data and I'm going to select the range. The data is by US state. Add data to map. There's my data on the map. However, I want to map it on rank. So I'm going to select style and grouping. What column do I want to group? I want to group rank. I also want the color ramp to appear so that the best states, according to this ranking, are in red and the worst are in blue. Super! There's my data. The best states, as I can see right now, according to this ranking, are mostly in the north central part of the country and Alaska with a couple of exceptions, Vermont and Virginia being two of them. I can pop up any of the data that I want to at any time. Now I can also publish that map, so I'm going to click on Share Map, Adding metadata is important so I can search for it later and also so my users of my map will be able to understand what it is. Best and worst run states in America, some tags, and a description. Enter some description for the Excel layer and share map. In the corner of my Excel spreadsheet it says map published successfully, view the published map. I think I will. Here is my map up on ArcGIS Online, best and worst run states in America. I'm going to go ahead and open that in the map viewer. And there's my ranking. Here I can add some more details. And if I look at the contents, here is my layer, my web map and my original CSV from my Excel spreadsheet. Fantastic! And that's a bit about ESRI Maps for Office. Think about other data that you could map from Excel files. One more thing though, I can also embed these maps into Microsoft Office PowerPoint slides. Let's demonstrate. Back in my Excel file now, let's create a slide. Here is the slide I just created. And let's make that map just a wee bit bigger. Super! Go ahead and save that. And now let's uh, 
well, let's present it. Yeah! Slideshow from beginning. Now I know you folks, you want a deeper dive. You want to be able to interact with this map on the slide, don't you? Well, I do too. So this is a good solution for a static map on a slide. But there's more we can do. If I go to the ESRI Maps tab inside PowerPoint now, I can add map slides. Okay, search for maps. Best in my organization. Best and worst run states. Great, there it is. I'm going to go ahead and open. And make it dynamic is what I've got checked. Great. Super. Create map slide. Love it. Let's give it a title. Let's add a map key. So we're going to click on these. Alright, I gave it a title. And see I've got a little button on here that makes it dynamic. So let's go ahead and show the slide from current slide. As you can see now, we are inside the slide and we now have full control over zooming, panning, etc. So this map is no longer static, but it is indeed able to be examined in more detail. Ah with pop-ups and zoom and pan capabilities. Fantastic! To recap, I've got two slides. The first one is static. This one. The second one is dynamic. You've got the capability of doing both inside S3 Maps for Office, as well as, I think, even more powerfully, being able to map all of your Excel data.